Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when force feedback is not working with the game. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer and then check. If that does not work, the next step is to turn up the game in force feedback settings. So for this, you can launch the game and then go to settings, go to inputs over here and then go to force feedback over here and you can turn up the game. Uh, you can try this uh, you can try these 120 maybe 150 or 200 uh, percent you can so try to increase it and then you can check try 120 or maybe 150 or maybe you can go up to 200 and then you can check this has worked for many players so it might work for you whenever you uh, make changes uh, make sure that you apply the changes and then check still not working the next step is to install latest firmware available for the wheels from your steering wheels manufacturer support page now so whichever brand you have you can go to their uh, website and you can install the latest uh, driver and firmware from their website and you can fanatic user can go to this website drivers for your wheel you can try to install it and Logitech user use gaming software instead of Logitech G Hub. Uninstall Logitech G Hub and then you can restart your computer. Install gaming software, restart your computer, and you can use this Logitech gaming software. Now, next step is to Fanatec user switch, switch the wheelbase to comp mode or yellow mode when the power button is power button is yellow uh, you can turn on the wheelbase and then you can check if not working you, you can switch back to pc mode and then check also update all the drivers from the website now the next step is for moza users you can load defaults r5 and overlay own selection install the latest you can install the latest pit house update you can go to the website and then you can install the latest update and then relaunch the game next step is to restart wheel after relaunching the game so you have to restart the wheel after you launch the game so not before after you launch the game next step is to disable or enable, enable the steam input now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and go to controller tab and you can disable this steam input and then you can relaunch the game and then check if that does not work you can even enable the steam input and then check still not working you can select default and then check now the next step is to disconnect the wheel and reconnect it while the game is running the last step is to enable invert ffb if not working you can disable it so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the force feedback working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel